He's a big fat turkey! Good morning, welcome to Cool Lovely Cream Cake. They can dominate the bungalow on Sunday and mate, you know what? Go on, go on, go on! You know what? Go on, go on, go on! I had a really bad dream last night. Yeah, I dreamt that I was marrying your mother! It was awful! Tom the Canary, Rod Jane and Freddy, Bungle Zippy Ooh. George Jeffrey, take you, Mummy Dominic, to be your awful, <laughs> uh, lawful wedded wife. I do. You! <laughs> Alan! <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with marrying my mammy? Let's meet the bungalow heads. Let's go. Yeah, Stop them. Oh, they're coming out of it. Sorry about my big fat turkey. Sorry. If you Hello, like Katie. If you fancy a turkey sandwich, there's plenty there. How are you? This Bye. is Katie. She's nine and three quarter years old, and she loves country and western dancing. Ah, what kind of? Can you show us a little bit? I don't really know that. It's style. ages since I've done it. Is it well, I, can't do it. I can't do it. Just a little bit of jigging or something. Just there. Go on. Just do whatever. <laughs> go on. I'll do a little guitar. Right? <laughs> Alright then, that's how to do it. Hey, what? What? The turkey's rising! It's, it's going to explode! What's coming out of it? It's giving birth to Dominic Wood! Hi, how are you all? Shift it out of the way. Here, Katie! Hi, Debbie! Get it in the oven. Katie, do you want to come have a look at the scoreboard over here just for a second? Because, Katie, at the moment, you can see right at the top there, see at the top of the scoreboard, you're on 342 points. That means you're in the lead. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> She's in the lead, though. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I've got turkey hair. <laughs> Sorry about, right. sorry about her, Katie. Thank you so much. That's Katie, everyone. Thanks, thanks. Press the button. Hello, it's Olivia. Olivia, 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 Olivia. Olivia, you are nine years old. And do you know what? Because it's Sunday and we like Sundays, do you know what that means? Automatically, because you're nine, you get nine bungalow points. Something even better, your name has got an O, which looks like a zero, so we're going to add that onto the end of the nine. And automatically, because it's Sunday and I'm feeling turkeyish. You get 90 bungalow points! How about that? 90 bungalow points for doing absolutely nothing. Thank you, Olivia. Who's next? Press the button. Hey, it's you're Anna! Now you're now on the lead. Oh, She's got a smile on her face. Check it out. AJ. Now, this is Anna, and basically Anna's name in full is Anna Johnson. She likes to be cool and down with the little people, so she's called herself... Down with the what? Little people. Little people. So she calls herself AJ. Hey, AJ, you got poo on your pyjamas. I know. <laughs> How did you get poo on your pyjamas? But it's not just on one place. You got poo all over your pyjamas. On the bottom half, on the top half, all over your back. Inside. Inside, <laughs> you know, on the inside. You dirty little donkey. Thanks, AJ. <laughs> in his pyjamas. It's Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Did you get a nice sleep in the bungalow? Yes. Did you? What did you get up to? Pillow fighting. Pillow fighting? Yes. We told you strictly no pillow fighting. Naughty. So what? What? So what? Naughty. Naughty, naughty little monkey. You've got a kitten called Fat Boy. How can you have a kitten <laughs> called Fat Boy? Is it fat? No, no. Not really. It was is just it the biggest bunch of the kit? Is okay. it as fat as this? No. Oh, good grief. No. He's no. going to have a baby soon. <laughs> it's all bought and paid for. Thanks, Alicia. Who's next? Ding ding. Oh. Charlie Wally. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Charlie. Um, well, have a look at that idea. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie you're, you're nine and a half years old. OK. Uh, and you can do a freaky thing with your shoulder blades. Have a look. Well, we can't actually see your shoulder what's, blades. What's, what's freaky about well, that? Well, no, we can't. Oh, we can't see... Oh, it's in there. No, we can't, we bet, no, no, we bet not. Never mind, I'm sure it's very good in the privacy of your own home. Five bungalow points. Thanks, Charlie. Five bungalow points for doing a shoulder blade. Rodney, you Rodney! 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 Rodney!
Yesterday, basically, uh, as soon as uh, Harry here walked through the door, we thought it's got to be. It looks completely like Rodney Trotter from Only Fools and Horses. Look at that, eh? Hang on. The likeness is untrue. He's brought us something. Oh, what's he brought? The bungalow. Oh, what is it? The presents. What present? Hang on, let me put it there so you can, everyone at home Yes, because it see. says here, he, Look. Loves, he loves painting things and paints model soldiers, and there is one. That's a model. Is this your favourite? No. Uh, really? How much did this cost? Uh, £2. How much? Well, you come to the set. You come to the set. All right, so. How Are there spare ones around? Yeah, you can get spare ones. You're not we can get spare going ones. to do what I think you're going to do, Mr Dominic Wood. Put that there. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is stand on your favourite toy. No, you're not! Thank I'm you. just kidding. How, do you, I'm not. how do you paint It's already broken anyway. Oh, it's already broken anyway. Oh, that's all right. I'll definitely stand on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Rodgers, your favourite painted toy is now completely broken. <laughs> You didn't you, he's laughing, he's laughing everybody, it's Rodgers! There you go! It's the Bunny of the Uh sorry about her everyone, she's just in one of those funny moves. Here you go, here you go, she likes standing on things. Hey now yesterday, Bungleheads, do you remember how funny it was at the end of the show when we saw AJ get into the loo, getting stuff all over her head? Yes, because she got a darn good gunging yesterday because she lost. Let's have another look at it now, AJ. Here it is. It's a beautiful gunging, that. It's, it's got it's finesse, it's got art, it's got decor. It's all over the place. All over. <laughs> oh, I like that. And now... Hey, 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 AJ. How do you fancy seeing yourself being cleaned up into the, the nice state you are now? Would you like that to happen? Yeah. Well, let's have a look at you being cleaned up, then. Check this out. Hang on a minute. <laughs> That's <laughs> not clean. Hang, hang, hang on a moment. That's you getting more dirty. <laughs> anyway, forget it. Hopefully, at the end of today's show, you won't get another gunji, AJ. Come on, you're going to get your tactics right and keep earning those bungalow points because at the moment you've only got minus five. You're still at the bottom. We be not, let's give her ten bungalow points. For that ten bungalow points. Because it was so good. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a good show today? Yeah! Oh, Are you all going to get messy? Yeah! Well, Mr. Dominic Wood is now going to explain what bungalow points mean. What do bungalow points mean? Yeah, bungalow points do indeed mean <laughs> ponies. Ponies. And in two hours, 50 minutes time, precisely, we're going to be giving away these three prizes. And if you're third, you'll get a commemorative piece of bungalow carpet covered from head to toe in creamy muck muck. There it is. Look at that. With a foot as Where well. Where is it? Smearing uh, it all in. It's over. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. No, it's, it's not. There. No, it's there. No, it's there. It, it's a flying there. carpet. There it is. Third prize. Flying carpet. Very good, mate. For the hobbit foot. I like that. Flying carpet. Like, yeah, well I, well, I, I, well I, recovered. It was very well recovered. Second prize. Should we have a look? Second prize. We'd like to see it. Here yeah. it is. There it is. Second prize. Enjoy. It's those Ooh. stinky things. What it is? They've got Ooh. those capsules, right? You open them up and there's a smelly little figure inside that smells of poo wah wah Yes, do you know the things I mean? Yeah. Not, if, not louder. And if you all go and get get into the airing cupboard now, go and, everybody go and get in there, because if you go and have a close look in the back of the airing cupboard, you will see first prize. Get in there and have a darn good look and root round. Go on, in there. In, right in there, in there, get in and have a look. Look at it! Oh! <laughs> A big TV screen at the back of it. Did you see that in there? It's massive inside there, isn't it? How and a door work? to the left. Wow. <laughs> That's first prize. Who wants it? None of you. <laughs> right then, let's try that again. Where's the loudspeaker? Where's, Where's the loudspeaker? Where's here? Where is yeah, it? ask him again, really loudly. <clears throat> in the nicest possible way. Because <clears throat> you're our guests. <laughs> and, and friends. <laughs> Who wants that? Good! Thank you! <laughs> well, let's have a look at the scores at the moment to see who is our, uh, in. Uh, who are you? Thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Who's in the positions to get those prizes? At the moment, you can see that Katie's got 342. Olivia, you are stolen into the lead just by being here. You got 399. Anna's only got five. Oh dear, sorry, Savannah. Uh, Alicia, you got 56. Not very good. Is that? Yeah, Tom. Alicia's got uh, 56. Tom. Charlie, 284. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Harry, one, 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 one,
They're the prizes for the bungler heads. Oh, there you go. They're the prizes for... Is, are they the right score? They're so they, wrong. Yeah, they all look wrong to me, didn't they? Let's go and have a look at the real scoreboard. Well, that we'll was weird. Real scoreboard. Hey, hey, hey. It's, it's Rusty, Ooh. the grumpy carpet dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> He's not happy, is he? He's got, so, he's got issues. Uh, Katie, yes. <laughs> Olivia, you got 408, not 399. Katie, you got 342. Charlie's got 289. Harry's got 235. Blah, 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 blah. Um, all the scores were wrong, but you have got good scores, really. Here. Look, yes, look, look here. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. What is it? You, you, you know that <laughs> Rusty, the grumpy carpet dwarf? Can you see him down there? Why don't you che cheer him up? You've got some stickers here. Some nice, happy stickers. And really he, nice. And what you've got to do with the stickers yeah. is go up to him and stick them all over his ears. Seriously, all he's, right? he's got a baldy slap head, so why don't you go up to him and try and see if he smiles by sticking stickers all over his head. Go over there while we tell you how you can get involved in the bungalow this morning. Of course you can. You can call us on 0845 900 2222 <laughs> and win prizes. Ask permission to carefully. Press 6 to get through to the bungalow. If you play, if you play, stick him on him. Oh, he's not having any of it, is he? He's a grumpy old dwarf! <laughs> he's got a living stuff to his head! Right, yeah, if you want to come in for Chop My Chili, we have the same prize as yesterday, but they were good yesterday, so let me get them again. It is the Minky, the Minky that moves. Hello, Minky. And the Chili Lights, too. Call in, tell us how many seconds a member of the public. What Chop Chili for? Is it, are we allowed to do that? <laughs> Can we do that? Before, before they have to go for the glass of milk, call them on that number. Oh, or email, of course, this morning. <laughs> Bungalow. Is anyone paying any attention to it? I hope you are right no, now. No, they're all infatuated with the, uh, the, 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 the sticky dwarf. The sticky dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> if you email, the first five people that get their email read out will get that slime. Slime! It looks quite good, slime. You actually get slime. Look, you can actually have to make and do your own slime. Yes. Five of those. Five of them. Yeah, email us uh, bungalow at bbc.co.uk. You can get one of them. Uh, make us laugh. But of course, if this is afternoon, then it's between one and four o'clock. Don't bother, because we're not here, and no one can answer your emails. In fact, or your phone calls. We're probably on holiday somewhere. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see how they've done. Look! I right, stop doing it! Stop Look it! Look at his ears! Leave the grumpy carpet off alone. He's right. not happy. OK, everyone go and sit down. Go and sit. Uh, apart from you. Uh, sorry, I'm very, very sorry about everything. They didn't mean to put that on there, it meant to go there. Sorry, there you go, it's better now. Good. It's, it's Rusty ready. the Grumpy Carpet Dwarf! Hey! Rodney! Rodney! <laughs> Shove it in your gob! Cereal race game, but no, no cereal today, no, no, no. These are high and barn with creamy muck muck laden on the top of it. Yes. But you can eat them when they're fresh. Are they fresh? Mm. Let's crack one open. You like it, it's so fresh. Mm. Fresh. Mm. Come on over here, Bungler Heads. Line up behind the cream cakes. It's basically the idea of the game is perfectly simple. All you've got to do is eat as many cream cakes as possible in a minute. The person that eats the most cream cakes will be the winner of... The Sticky Dwarf. And 32 Bungalow Points. All to play for, Bungalow Heads. You t t time starts to start. No, 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 now. <laughs> shove it in your gob, shove it in your gob. Shove the cream cake, shove the cream cake, shove them in your gob. Shove them in your gob, shove them in your gob. Shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it. Shove the cream cakes in your gob, shove it in your gob. Shove it, uh, cream cakes at quarter past nine in the morning. Uh, uh, cream cakes in your gob. Creamy muck muck at quarter past nine on a Sunday. Come on, shove it in. You've got 30 seconds left now. Look, don't just break them up. Shove them in your gobs. The person that eats the most will be the winner of the Bangalore points. Shove that in. Yeah. Look, Katie. Are you going to bar? Katie. Ooh. Go on. Come on in. Get it in there. That's it. Not long left. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. And With a 10. Over. Come and on, nine. Charlie. And an H. E. And a 7. Then and a 6. A and a 5. And a 4. And a three, oh and a two, and a one. Time's up. Excuse this. <laughs> right, that was the cereal race. Well, it was the cream cake race. Sign off with Olivia on the end here. Now. She kind of broke them into some bits and nibbled a few bits, so, um, that, you lost. Uh, Harry, you, well, yeah, you ate, how many did they have? Five or four. Uh, anyway, you ate, you ate one and a half. Very well. Very good. Very well. Anna, look at the state of your chops. 
<laughs> Do you enjoy them? <laughs> oh, we've got more for you later. Uh, you, uh, three, um, one and a... Uh, oh. Look at that. That looks like it's <laughs> reappeared from your mouth, that bit. So, uh, don't know whether we can count that. But, yeah, right. not bad. Now, over here, Charlie, come here. <laughs> come here, please. No, there's your answer. All right, then, there goes that gag out the window. But uh, he's just ripped it up and put it back on his plate. Alicia, have you really done that? Um, have you thrown no. to... No, what? What have They're you done? They're not Kate is. That is oh, Kate is. Oh, what's that? That's Kate is. 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 That's Who's that? There's no point in lying because one of you knows that you got it and went like this. Right, so one of you. There's three down there. There's one down there. For argument's sake, they're they're disqualified. Harry's the winner of the 32 bungalow points and the sticky carpet walk. Bravo. We'll give you a second to take a moment. Well done, Ronnie. Nice one, son. Here's what's on the bungalow this morning until 12 o'clock. Where's all of that? Musical Splatoo's our new game. Stay tuned for it. Yeah, we've got uh, Taz of Tasmania. Oh, lovely. Tom Dick and Harry will be here for the forfeit auction. Yeah, another great uh, video for you to watch. We've got it here in the bungalow. It's Chuckle Vision. We recorded yeah. it the other day. Yeah. That's the slot bucket back. Battle bad. Later on on the bungalow. We're here till 12. <laughs> right, bungalow heads. What a laugh. It's video time. What a laugh. It's been a good morning so far. Who wants a bit of a vol of the Ucon? None of them. Uh, brilliant. Well, well, we want to watch it. Yeah, so we'll... what we want you to do is to everyone sit and face that way. Go on. That's it. We've all got to face that way. Lovely. You're not allowed to watch it. Because no. if you don't want to watch it, you face that way. And if any of you peek for the next 22 minutes, then you lose all of your bungalow points. But face you, that way. you there, and they want to watch us, it. me and Dom, we can watch it now. There you go. Hey. It's in. Go there on. we go. Don't, don't peek. peek. Don't peek, bungalow head. Well, that was in front of the Yukon. This is Mr. Dominic Wood's face, and over here, we got Creamy Mac Mac. Keep perfectly still and give a silly grin, but one false move gets a pie on the chin. It's <laughs> musical splatches. Woohoo! Look, bungler heads, still in front of the Yukon's it. finished now. Sorry, before everyone of the Yukon, I said to them, if they turn around, because they said, be there when I want you in front of the Yukon. So I said, you face that way. And if I catch you looking at one of the Yukon, then you lose all your bungler points. And Did you watch it? Yeah. No. What? You he said yes. Do you know? Did hey, you watch it? No. Dom, yes, he did, did he? Did he? Did he? Yeah. Do you know yeah. I said you did? No, he did. Yes, he did. He yeah, watched I this. I was, yeah. I was looking at this. Right, I'm going to hear a shut up coming on in a minute if you don't shut up. Shut up. Hey, shut up! Shut up! See, I told you, I told you. Hey, do you know why they didn't want to watch if one of the Yukon, though? Why? Because they wanted to carry on playing the big bungalow game, and that's what we can do now, because it's musical statues. Right. And the idea of this game put, is basically, it's like musical statues. All you're going to do is uh, dance around the bungalow when you hear the music, ding a ding a ding a ding a ding like that. When you hear the music stop, you're going to pause. If anybody moves, even slightly, flinches or anything, sticks the tongue out, whatever, blinks, then they're going to get one of these plates of cream and mug mug right in their face. And they'll get excluded from the game. Got the idea? Are you allowed to pull a face? What? Are you allowed to pull a face? You have yeah, to, pull a to pull a face. You have to gurn. When, when, we'll show you now. When, you, when the music okay, starts... For example, this is an example of how it works, all right? So let's play the music so we can do it okay. all for you. Ready? <laughs> Move your fingers. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, you got the idea. The winner of the game, the person that is still standing at the end and has not been excluded and not got any pie in their face, will win a small kettle used in the 1940s called Euston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which is covered in light scale on the inside and has a small mouse called Terence living inside. And also, um, and also, uh, and also 52 bungalow points. <laughs> so stand up then, come on, get into the bungalow spirit here. Let's move there. there. Oh, and we're going to give bonus points as well to the best faces pulled. So we need your ugly gurning. Your time starts now. Go! Oh. Musical splatches! <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why do little people always dance like that? <laughs> We've got to give some points there to AJ, I think, just for the face, for starters. Is that, good? that is awful. <laughs> look at it. Look. Oh, look at all their faces. <laughs> look at Olivia. Her big purple tongue looks like a, a great big sock. Stay there, everyone. So you, we'll give, we'll give Anna and Olivia five bungalow points each for good faces. Oh, yeah. He's moving all over the shop. Charlie's moving all over the shop. So Charlie gets a bit of 
Andy's excursion. Sit down, go sit down. And the rest of us are going to have another dance. Music of splatches, everyone. Come on. Oh, 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 yeah, look. Trout, trout mouth. You look like Leslie Ash. Trout pal. Look at that. Trout pal. Who moved, though, Dom? Who do you reckon? Uh, Rodney is looking with his eyes. Yeah. Look, he just he's looking at me. Look, right, trotter. We've Come got here. some half price crack ties, some miles and miles of carpet ties. <laughs> Lean forward. Lean forward. When this pie goes in your face, you'll hear another part of your theme tune. You ready? No. <laughs> oh, maybe not. What? Uh, no, carry on. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm just going to go change the CD. Oh, no, 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 no. It was Alicia. She moved. I saw her. Right, get, right, it get, get, get it in. Get it in. Go. Get it in. Go. Disqualified. <laughs> that was a corker. So can we get a corker? Well, I'll go to the bedroom, get yourself cleaned up. Another point, get another po uh, five points for Katie's face there, because she looks like she's got a small <laughs> alien just about to grow out of her bottom lip. <laughs> look at that. Katie's face, look at it. Ugh, five she's, points she's got, for her. She's got, got a small alien up. just about to grow out. Right, dance again, here we go, nearly at the end. Musical splashes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sorry, AJ. Lovely hair you have too, but it's all going to get ruined now because you're going to get creamy mac muscle over You're going to get matted. Right, there we are. Thank you. You've been excluded. Ooh. Last two. Who's it going to be? Olivia or Katie? Who's going to win those 52 bolo pods? Dance like a rang And that small kettle called Houston. Here we go. 52 bolo points for a steak. Come on. Oh, Olivia moved last. She put her arm in the air. Right, give her a bit of that. Right, uh, get it. Oh, oh, I'll tell you. Oh, I'll, I'll, tell you I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. Have a bit in your hand. There you go. And, have a bit and in your I'll. Face. Uh, there you go. You didn't stick it in her face. What? That's not fair. The rest of them got. Right, I'll. <laughs> she, she does. She's clever. <laughs> Wait. Right, Wait, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not a pie fight. It's musical splatoos. It might Katie, be a minute. Katie, you've just won 52 bungalow points. <laughs> it no, it no, no, it's not a pie fight. It is now. It's not a pie fight. No, get up. It's not a pie fight. Get up. Ah, it's not a pie It's musical splatoos. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? 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 Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana. <laughs> now... I told them it was yeah. not a fight. It was musical splatches, and it turned into mayhem. It's another cheap, typical bungalow stunt. Someone's in the loo. Go and find out who it is. Who's in there? What? Oh, clever. Oh, no. Shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go and have a look in the loo. That's it. Go and go and be, be nice, Don. Be nice. Are <laughs> you in the toilet? Who is, come out, AJ. What have you been doing? It's not very nice, is it? How would you like it? I like it. I've got a hard head. You like it? You've got a hard head? Well, you'll yeah. be able to take this then, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday morning in the bungalow. Not me, it was him! <laughs> Every Sunday morning. Every Sunday morning in the bungalow, we have a big person. Yes, an adult. An adult in the bungalow. Who has a problem with something, they want to air their view so they're in the airing cupboard. And today. Are you going to come and talk to me? <laughs> no. Maybe later. <laughs> Scary. Don't, don't move near the airing cupboard. <laughs> Stay well away. 
Yesterday, we asked you to email in and tell us where you play bogeys. Stephen Hyde from Leicestershire says, I went to play bogeys out with my friend Phil. He was shouting it really loud. Then some old granddad on a scooter asked us what we were doing. I told him, when you got a snotty throat about bogeys, because uh, they're what? He, what are you talking about? Make your emails make sense. He laughed and drove off and I said, I don't know where you got that from. It's absolute nonsense. So I shouted back, I got it from the best two TV presenters ever. Anton Degg. <laughs> Krista, from no, who is nine years old, from uh, Mosley Hill in Liverpool. Oh, that's where I was born. Uh, it says, <laughs> Dear Dick and Dom, I thought, I thought you would like to know that my dad and I played bogeys yesterday on a Russian warship that is visiting Liverpool for the Battle of the ah, Atlantic Festival. Good place. The ship was called Admiral Chicken. Uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a very strange contest with the bogeys. Dad won the contest, starting with, with about 2.4 in the queue Look at that. to get on the ship. Yeah. It says today they're off to the Eureka Museum in Halifax to play it again. Let Whee! us know your result, Christopher. You have both won the slime covered in creamy muck muck. We will send it exactly like you see it there. Lovely. Whee! Bungalow at bbc.co.uk if you want to win one of those. What? What? Nothing. OK. Nothing there. <laughs> How are the kids? How are you? How are guests? Good. What? Fine. <laughs> Come on, hey, give me five again. Watch, it does it. Look. Yeah! Yeah, round of applause, everyone! Yay! A mark, mark round of applause. Right then, you lot. Plenty more to come on the bungalow because two hours, ten minutes are proceeding left, yes. Try it at home, seriously. Why don't you go and get your daddy's oh. shaving phone? You have my full, you have my full permission, right? You have my permission. Go and get a bit in your hand and do this. Ah, my eye! Don't do it! And then, after you've done Don't that... Don't do it! After you've done that, wash Tasmania. Ah, my eyes! Don't do it! Uh, calling Tasmania, calling Tasmania, calling the bungalow heads. Good morning, bungalow heads. Morning! And we say good morning to them, and that's all they can come up with. Good morning, bungalow heads. Good morning! Thank you so much. They're here to win bungalow prizes, and we have those prizes ready for you to see. The third prize is a piece of commemorative bungalow carpet covered in creamy mug, Mike. Yes, you could get that. Oh, hello. What's wrong with you? You all right? Yeah, fine. Uh, second prize, you get this. Have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. It's those stinky little monsters with goo Ooh. coming out of their head. They oh. oh. second prize out, but even better than that. First prize, that's a one, by the way. Yes. First prize is this. In schools, because it's time to play once you popped, you've got to stop. And the people that play are the person at the top and the person at the bottom. So let's have a look at the scores to find out which bungalow head is going to be playing or which two. The bungalow boys with the bungalow heads at the moment, Katie on 399. Olivia, I think she's going to be playing. Oh, we've got 404. Oh, I reckon Anna's going to be playing because she's at the bottom. It's the person at the top and the bottom we need. Anna's only got 10. Uh, Elisa, you got 56. Charlie with 289. And uh, Harry, somewhere around the middle. Rodders, he's got uh, 267, which so, means that Anna and Olivia are going to be playing once you... You've got to stop. Yes, and basically, there's a bit of a twist. Come up here, Anna and Olivia. Yeah. Because, Anna, so. if you win this, Anna, you could take all Olivia's points and go to the top of the scoreboard. Yeah. Olivia, if you win, you'll stay exactly where you are, but if you lose... Oh, my bagpipes have just fallen off. If you lose, you'll go to the bottom. You mean you'll cushion with a couple of magic wands? Yes. yes cool. I'll do the game properly, right. Sybil. Yes, all you have to do is just uh, put those clown pants on, put them on right now, go on, put them on, and then we're going to give you one minute on the clock... Hey, take them out, stop cheating. <laughs> one minute on the clock to try and fill up your pants with as many balloons as you possibly can. All right, uh, start with small ones, you get more in that way, yeah? Uh, if you make it pop, then you lose automatically. All right? The one with the most amount of balloons in there is the winner. And they'll win... 83 bungalow points. Hello. Ooh. But don't forget that twist. If you lose, then you go to the bottom and you go to the top. If you win and you stay at the top, you get 83 bungalow points and you go to the bottom. <laughs> All right, then. All right, a bit, of a, bit of a Scottish flavour to the uh, once you pops, you've got to stop game today. So, Dom, don your bagpipes and your time starts now. You've got 60 seconds to go. Hmm. Oh, oh Olivia's high, high and Anna's low. low. It's a very tricky part of this, very tricky show, cos they should show goals, but we just don't know. Stop balloons down your phrases. Watch them sweat as they fill their plans. Use the small balloons for a better chance. If we lose this game, then hello, pants out to get them down your trousers. Hey! Red ones, green ones, yellow ones, too. Fill your houses up, that's a thing to do. Peter Milford's watching you, so stop them down your trousers. Cushion on your head. 
Olivia's high and Anna's, Anna's low. low. It's, it's a very, very tricky, tricky part of this very tricky show. Because they could score scores, but we just don't know. know. Stuff for loons down your trues. Enough of that. Oh, hang on. What's just happened there? What? Where? What? You know what? he said Peter Milford's watching you. Oh, he was watching you. Milford has watched you play the game. <laughs> Making sure you're not cheating. You didn't cheat, though. Everybody's got their balloons in their pants, so we're now going to count them up, starting with Olivia, because she's at the top. So let's see if she's going to stay there. Oh, I hope you don't expect me to try and get those balloons out of those pants, because I don't have any arms. You just blow on your bagpipes, Hinge. Get out of your mouth. Have fun. There you go. All right. Uh, so, Olivia, oh, you've done quite well, you've done very well, Olivia. One, oh, you just dropped one, that's two, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Right! My kilt's come off! Twenty-five. Carpet. And me, and me hat. What did I get to? Is that twenty-seven? 26. 26. 27. 27. 28. 20. 29. Ooh. 30. I think this is a record score. Yeah. 30. Good enough. Do that. 31. 32. Must Ooh. have been our singing. Uh, 33. 34. 34. 35. 35. 36. 36. That's 36. It's the biggest score, but. Anna could obviously beat Olivia if she gets 37. But somehow, I doubt it very much. And that means Anna could go to the top of the scoreboard, so the tension is mounting. Right, the mention and what is mounting. we're going to have to count the music, because I think we should have that, uh, that little song again while we're counting the balloons. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the song, everyone. It's a Scottish song. Oh, here comes Milford. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Nine. Milford's coming. Ten. Where's ten? Ten. Eleven. Eleven? Le no, le eleven. 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 Le that's it. How can you do? You so eleven. eleven. <laughs> they kept falling out. Yeah, of course they out. did. Eleven. AJ. Oh. Olivia, though, you were, were you playing the same game as her? Because she got 36 <laughs> and you got 11. But that means Olivia stays at the top and she also gets 83. More well, bungalow points to add to her 404 already. Come on over here, Olivia. You go over there and I'm going to go and get Milford into a corner. Come on, right, Milford. Come on. Off get, we go. Get the dot. Hi. Lovey, lovey, uh, what's the date today? May the 4th be with you. What? May the 4th be with you. Lovey, stop messing about and just tell me what the date is. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi and you are my Padawan. And I'm here to tell you that May the 4th be with you. Diddy dum, lovey! Will you... I mean, sorry, Obi-Wan Kenobi, lovey. I don't know what you're talking about. Will you stop messing about and just tell me what the date is? That's what I've been trying to tell you, oh silly one. It's May the 4th. It's your birthday! My birthday? Oh, I thought so! <laughs> yes, your birthday. And I know what you're getting. Do you? How do you know, Lovey? Because I felt your presence. I beg your pardon? I felt your presence. <laughs> yes, very <laughs> funny, Lovey. Seriously, though, what have you got me, Lovey? Got you? Yeah, you know, as in a present. Present? Yeah, as in a gift. Yeah, yeah. Is it a pony? <laughs> a Lamborghini? <laughs> A corduroy suit. <laughs> a pair of slacks. <laughs> bottle of nail varnish. <laughs> Just a pair of socks then. <laughs> Lovey, you mean it's my birthday and you haven't even got me anything? Uh, 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 no, no, I haven't. Sorry, I, c I can't hear you. No, 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 I haven't actually got you anything. Lovey, you are rubbish! I've known you all my life! You knew it was my birthday today and you haven't even got me a card! Ah, oh, Lovey, Lovey, Lovey! Well, you have officially ruined my special day. We're going to watch a video. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back here. 
Come here. What? What's up? Ready? Erin coming? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's pegged it. Here you go. Have a nice time. <laughs> Let's leave them in there. Whilst we watch a cartoon. Come on. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Go and open that and find out what his issues are inside there whilst we watch Basil Brush. Close <laughs> 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 so it. Thank you, Rodders. <laughs> All right, then. It's Basil Brush. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I did get Dominic Bungalow on Sunday with the fourth auction and the pants dance approaching fastly. It is. Fast approaching. Very, very fast. Hey! Fun. Did you know, Bungalow Heads, it's Shane Baker's birthday today. Little Shane out there. It's his birthday. It's also it Queen was, Elizabeth it was, at the it, palace. It's her yeah. birthday. So everyone give them a royal wave. Like that. Royally wave. Royally wave. There we are. OK, eight prizes at 12 o'clock today. In an hour and 15 minutes, we will be awarding them. And if you come third, you'll get a piece of bungalow carpet with creamy muck mug all over it. Mmm, who was that? Oh, fair enough. All right, then, if you come second here on Dick and Dumb on the Bungalow, why don't you guys give me walking away or skipping away with a load of these? Slimy wimeys. They stink and they've got all slime coming out of their heads. There you go. Yes. And first prize, first prize, anybody a good singer? <laughs> Forget it. You well, get this. You'll need to be if you get this, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores where they stand at the moment for the bungalow heads. Here are the bungalow points for the bungalow heads on the Sunday mornings. Digging up in the bungalow. With Katie on 399. Olivia's got 487. Storming ahead. Storming ahead at the bottom still is Anna with 10. All right, on the next page, Alicia, you've got 56. Charlie's with 289. Harry, you have got 267, which means that AJ, come up here. You're in the bottom of the scoreboard, which means... Uh, you, did it, you did it yesterday as well, didn't you? Yeah. How, how have you only got 10 bungalow points? And we've done, like, <sighs> nearly five hours in the bungalow, and you've got 10 bungalow points. Because you because people cheat. Yeah. Oh. oh dear. Now, Dickie, these yes. are your nan's pants, aren't they? They certainly are. You can tell by the smell. My, nan rip. my nanny's pantaloons. Are you ready? No, no, no. Over your head. Dad's in your pants. Dance, baby, go! Oh, she's yeah. got a head in her pants. Yeah. 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 She's got a groovy disco trend. Yeah, sure. baby. Yeah. Yeah. And they were clean them just last week. Oh, know what you get. Hold on a minute, let's get them off. What you get for dancing in your pants, And don't everyone you? at home as well, join in. You know what they get for doing the pants dance? Absolutely! Diddly, Diddly squit! My there word. You go. Go sit hey, down. Thanks for all your pants dance letters. A pants dance picture, including Francis in the middle, liking it. I love the pants dance and I hope you always keep it on your show. From Megan Cole from Belfast. We'll send you a t-shirt. Here's Thank a genuine for... letter uh, from uh, Daniel Daly. Yes, not Darren Day, sorry, Daniel Daly, uh, who's nine years old from Birmingham. Please, 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 can me and my sister and my mates come in the bungalow? We will clean up after Creamy Muck Muck and we will do the pants dance wearing our Nan's pants on our heads. Mm, maybe. Ooh. Well, for sending the letter anyway, you do get these, which are the world's biggest pants. Look at them! Ah! Look at them, quick, let's get, quick. Yeah, yeah. Get in them. No, no, get, right. OK, yeah. there we go. Right. They're massive. Right, time. Time for Chomp My Chili. We'll do Chomp My Chili oh. with him down there. OK, Chomp My Chili, this is the part of the oh. show. You have to decide how many seconds. Uh, and remember the public, we'll chomp one of these four before they go for the nice cold yeah, yeah. glass of milk. And Mr Dominic Wood, with the pants on his head, will now explain who the member of the public is this week. It's your mind, the puddle duck. A what? I can't see. Here is the pants <laughs> Here is the Chomp My Chili person this week. Let's have a look at him. It's Kirsty. There's Kirsty in all her glory. No, it's not. It's Sylvia. Where did we get the name Kirsty from? I don't know. I've uh, picked it out of the air. Uh, she's 30. She's not 30. Her job is a um, something fairy, a tooth fairy. She's married. Um, she's donated uh, saliva to charity. Charming. Uh, she hid her best friend's snot collection, and her motto is a prize is a prize is a prize is a prize. Especially if you've got a job lot. Uh, all right, down there, mate. Do you want to speak to your caller? Yes, please. Okay. All right, my yeah. caller should be. Uh... Hello. Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. 
Ah, uh, sure, I've got Panto. Uh, all right, then. And um, you're from Sunderland. He did Panto in Sunderland once before. Did you know that? No. Did, would, you, would, you, would you have gone to see him if he, if he knew? Yeah. Not many people know that, Kirsty. You're the first. Uh, Kirsty, how many seconds do you think Sylvia Paul will chop the chilli for? What? 30. 40. 30. 30. OK, thank you, Kirsty. Stay on the line. And what? Grant Sharples, are you there? All the way from Wellington. Grant? Grant? Yeah. Oh! All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, are you are you on as nails, mate? Yeah. 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 Right, then. Uh, how old are you? Eleven. No, you're not, are you? You're about eighteen, aren't you? Is he, just, yeah. is, is, is he just doing heavy breathing down the phone? Heavy breathing down the phone, showing how hard he is. Grant Sharples, how many seconds do you think they're going to chop the sheet for? 25. 25. Well, we've got 13 25. Right yeah, then, so Bungalow like, head, no, let me get my foot out there. Right. right, pick your teas now, Bungalow heads. You can have Kirsty with 30 seconds, or you can have Grant with 25. Choose now, because if you're right, you'll get 10 Bungalow points, depending on how many seconds Sylvia Paul chomps that chilli for. They've oh, only AJ stayed with Dom. You could double your score, AJ, to 20. Wow. Let's have a look how many seconds she's going to chomp the chilli for. Go and have a look through the window. Oh. Chomp on a chilli. Smoking. Red Hot. Steven. Go on, Sylvia. Go on, go on, Sylvia. Jumping away. Go on, Sylvia. Looking at a bit of pain there. We've passed Grand score of 25. We're hitting Kirsty's of 30. It looks like Kirsty's going to win this. I think she already has done. Sylvia's still going, though. A prize is a prize is a prize is a prize. She must have a mouth made of asbestos. Wow. She went through a bit of pain, but oh, there's her eyes watering slightly. Yeah, don't, don't touch your eye once you be, uh, touch a chili. Oh, no, she's done it. But that still means that, Kirsty, you are the winner. Kirsty? Yeah? You've won. Yeah. Dom's team won. Well, the, who was that? Was that you and me? Yeah, yeah give me. No, don't. Got AJ, you, you get 10 bungalow points, but Kirsty, you get this. Like that. 20. And those. You've got my name wrong. What do you mean we got your name wrong? What's well, your name? What is your name? Adele. Who? What? Adele. <laughs> my name's my middle name. Uh, well, it's so not, it's you're actually not even close to Kirsty. So your name's not Kirsty? No. Are you from Sunderland? My name's my middle name, not my second name. Oh, what's your second name? So, Adele. What's your surname? Adele. Uh, Adele. 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 Is your name's Adele. We'll sort it out. Don't worry. Go away. Uh, thank you, Kirsty. <laughs> and also, we'll send uh, Shaney Baby a uh, T-shirt. Yes. Grant. Grant. Shane. What? Getting all the names wrong. Turtles are next. Forget it. Right. One of you. Go to the toilet. One of whose whose turn is it? Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> Katie. A man walked into a restaurant and said to the waiter, "Give me something to eat and make it snappy." The waiter said. How about a crocodile sandwich? <laughs> no, no, well, I've done better, yeah. Okay, who's in there? Come on. Who's in the. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, who's in there? <laughs> okay. What have you been doing? Hitting the turtle on the head. Well, I'll tell you what, as your punishment, instead of me hitting you on the head, we need to open that and just have a chat with the lady there. Go on, <laughs> them two are just going to have a chat. I'm going to go. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> don't, don't push me, will you? Because I'm frightened of some of you, really. Because I go home on the bus sometimes and my legs are not very, very good, you know. <laughs> and uh, you all seem to be in a hurry. I know mean, you're going home to a lovely tea or, or date or something. <laughs> Is she freaking you out? <laughs> yeah. Is she freaking you out? Have another look. <laughs> oh, there you are again. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> now, who am I talking to? You or you? No one. Absolutely no one. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, okay, right, there we go. Uh, oh, I'm going to chuck that over there. So uh, well done, and as a result of being so good at doing that, I'm going to play the bongos on your slaphead. All right. Three, two, one. Press the button, baby. No, what? What? No, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
forget it. All right then, it's a Sunday morning. It's time for the fourth in auction. Please welcome, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tom the Canary. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right, my darlings. Oh, yeah! Did you see that? Did you see what I just did there? Well, I backflipped three it. times Shut it, and kid. did a triple yeah, somersault. Shut it! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shut up! Yeah, Through the doorway. How about that, then, me darlings? It it's been taking me ages to learn how to do that. Yeah. Do you want me to see? Do you want to see me do it again? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Okay. Please welcome. Here we go. Please welcome, ladies. <laughs> and oh dear, I've just dropped all the cards. I've got to move this out of the way. There could be a bit of a hazard. Sorry, I always moved on its own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome. What? Ready? Oh, sorry. He's just putting his extra springy shoes on because he, he needs to put on his special socks as well. I'm getting ready for it. Okay, well you let me know when you're Are ready. Are you ready, me darlings? Please welcome Tom come. the Canary. Is he going to come Dick, are you going to come back the other way? Come back the other way, Tom the Canary! All right, me darlings! It's amazing, and uh, he's going to come out. Yeah, I tell you what, it's incredible, because his trousers change colour when he jumps in the air. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. He'll just come out. Do you like it? Oi, we've... No, Tom Dick and Harry, oh. we've hammered this one, oh, so right. get on with it. Right, everybody, it is time for the Four Foot Auction. This is a part of the show where you can stitch up your bungalow mates with your hard-earned bungalow points by buying forfeits. We've got a couple of corkers today. Yes, corkers. corkers. And the first lot is... Oops. Lot 103. It's Mr Dominic Wood will now explain. Lot 103, ladies and jelly spoons, boys and twirls. This one is lot 103, and it is Oliver Twist Kid. Oliver Twist Kid? Yes, and his wow. modern day mate. In other words, we could only root around the bungalow and find one Oliver Twist costume, so the one of, one of you will be Oliver Twist. Ooh! Oh, right, you'll have to dress up as Oliver and play a game of Bungalow Twister oh. with your modern day mate. Love it. But if we have a look over here, yes. we're just going to look at... Look. We're just going to look at that look over at there. That. With water. Oh. oh! This is your Bungalow Twister board. And that's your uh, left hand, right so hand. So look, we can twist this, my darlings, and if it lands, say, there, that means on your right hand, you've got to stick it in custard, in which custard. is yellow. So that's over there. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's the general so idea of the game, OK? So uh, we're going to find out who's going to be. You've got to bid for it with your bungalow points. It's and a don't good... forget, if you don't bid for it, it could happen to you. It's a good one. So we're going to start at 20 bungalow points. Who's going to give me 20 bungalow points for the bungalow twister? Harry's going to give me 20. Anyone going higher than 20? Anyone going to give me more bungalow points than 20? How many, Charlie? 40. 40 from Charlie? Anyone going to go higher than 40? 20. 100 from Harry. Harry's oh, coming at 100. What? 150. 150 from Charlie. Have you got that many points, 180. Charlie? 180. 180 from Harry. 190. 190 from Charlie. 200. 200 from Harry. 225! 225! 225 from Charlie! 260! 265 from Charlie! Yeah, I've got it. 265 from Harry! 287! 287! You're giving away these points, aren't you? Do you know you're giving away these points? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be sold to Charlie for 287 bungalow points. Go and get it gone. Wait, wait, Charlie, before you come up, Harry, come up here. Harry, look, I've just suddenly realised. What? You know who you look like, don't you? Del Boy! Oh! Rodney, you blocker! What do you think you were doing pulling out on the fourth-bit auction? We could have had a new three-wheeler for it! Right, go sit down. Charlie, I'll be going. You Charlie, this. do you realise what you've done there? You've spent 287 bungalow points. You've only got two left. There you go. Oh, oh well. well. You feel happy? Yep. Okay, who are you going to give it to? Enjoy it. Um, uh, Alicia. And don't forget, we're going to rename this. It's no longer the Bungalow Twister, it's called the Bungalow Bender. Charlie, you've got to pick two friends, Alicia and... Anna. And Anna. Yeah. Alicia and Anna, go off there, and we'll be back to you to play it any second. But we're going to move on with Lot 104, my darlings. I've already got two. <laughs> Lot 104. This one is called the Little Clown Double Act. What? It's just a little double act for clowns. Oh, yes. <sighs> now... If this happens to you, we get this awarded to you, you'll have to wear a big wig, a red nose, and a spangly jacket. 
You all have to take part in a clown's show with another fellow little person. Is it bummer? All right? Now, every time you hear... Oh, well, we hear a joke and find it funny or unfunny, we will reward you and your little clown friend with, with plum tomatoes. Plum tomatoes. All fresh from the market, me Look at that. Look at, Look at that. Oh, did you get these from the market? All from the market. Did you? All fresh to that. Luscious, are they? Yes. Mm. This is to show our appreciation for such comic genius. So, lot 104 is what's it called, my darling? Uh, it's called the, li the Little Clown Double. The Little Clown Double. Yeah. Who wants the Little Clown Double? We're going to start at 30 bones, like boys, this. Don't forget, you, you can't beat anymore, bid Charlie. It, it could happen to you. Charlie can't beat because he's only got two, because he just spent all his points. So it's Ari, Olivia or Katie. Who wants it for 30 bungalow points? He's nothing. Come on, who wants 30 points? Olivia's going to take it for 30. Anyone going to give me more than 30 bungalow points? Harry or Katie's... How many? 34. 34 from Katie. Anybody? 40. 40 from Olivia. Anyone going to go? 30. I mean, um, 42. 42 from Harry. Anyone going to give me more than 42? We're going to end this bidding soon. 42. Oh. 50. 50 from Olivia. Is it going to be sold to Olivia? I think it is. It's going once. Anyone from more than 50? 51! 51 from Matt! Yeah. 55! 55 from Olivia! He's going once again! 56! 56 from Matt! He's going once, he's going twice! It's sold to Harry for 56! No! What? What? Yeah, he just came in with 56! I'm not, I don't like any. I'm not. <laughs> I hate you. What's the. Cute. Right then, come here. <laughs> God bless <laughs> Come on. Lot like 104. Who are you gonna give it to? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know who wants it and you know who doesn't, don't you? Katie. Oh, Katie's having it. Katie's going to be a little... <laughs> clown. Right then, off you go to the bedroom. That's yours now. Off you go to the bedroom and you go and get yourself changed. And that means now we can start playing, what was it called? Bungalow... Oh, yeah. Bungalow... Bungalow twisting kid. Bungalow uh, bender. <laughs> bungalow bend. What? It's no. Called, it's called right. bungalow bender. Right, and who went off for that? It was Anna and it was uh, Alicia. Yeah. And Anna and Alicia are here now. And you can come over here because you can see that Alicia is dressed up as Oliver Twist and Anna is a modern day version of Oliver Twist. In other words, we could basically the costume. Basically, we, could, we didn't have any more money for another costume. Yeah, in your pajamas. So, so <laughs> over here. Come over here. Right, let's play bungalow twisty thing. Bungalow right. bender. <laughs> Right, this is, it's just like a game that you play at home. When we spin this and say it lands on, on that, which is orange, oh, we just you have to it. put your beans in the right foot. Orange, right. Spin it. OK, this is, we're going to spin it first for AJ. It's spinning round and it's landed on rice pudding, rice pudding. with your right foot. With your right foot, go on. <laughs> Stick your right in. One. That one, yeah, that's the one, my darlings, right? Uh, spinning it again, my darlings. Spinning it again. It's spinning round. It's spinning round. There we are. Oh, it's landed on. Left foot. Oh, yeah, it's custard. custard. Left custard. Left foot custard. Anna, back to Anna. It's going to be um, mushy, mushy peas, peas with, the, with the left foot. So in that's it in there. And and, and Alicia uh, has got custard with the left foot. Already got it. Already got it. No, no, it's not. It's not ever going to work there, right? so You have to do it lay it, flat it on the floor. Lay it on the floor. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> Spin it. It's mushy peas on the left foot. For you. Oh. So you have to take it out of there, go and put it in the, in the mushy peas. Right, and another one for AJ, please. Okay. Yes, it's left baked hand. Oh. Left hand in the baked beans. Left hand in the baked beans, please, AJ. No, no they're the mushy peas. Baked beans. Baked beans. That's the one. <laughs> right, spin it again for Alicia. Alicia, you've got to put your left foot in the uh, rice pudding, please. Oh. That's it. You get it nicely mixed. You've got something about your left foot. You just want third prize, don't you? Right, spin it again Here for Anna. Anna, put your right, right foot, foot in rice pudding. It's already in. Already your right foot in it's rice pudding. It's already in rice pudding. Right, all this right. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be Alicia, your right, right hand, hand in the baked beans. beans. Right hand. Other one, my darlings. That's the one. That's it. Go right. right in there. Get it in. Spinning it again for AJ. It's your right, right hand, hand in baked beans. They already are. Right. <laughs> Moving it on. <laughs> right hand in custard. You. Right hand in custard, oh, you. Hang on. Lovely. Oh, no, right. OK, left hand baked beans. Oh, hang on a minute. Right. We <laughs> <laughs> it. It's on. No! What are you doing? I've got to go to Ice Pizza. I've got to sit in an aeroplane. Get up. No! <laughs> this is the only way to make the game work. <laughs> the game wasn't working, so it had to be just turning it around. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, please, boys and girls. It right. is time now for our second forfeit. And the second forfeit was called stand, stand there and watch. The stand Little Clown and Little Person Comedy Act. 
And basically, take tomatoes, they're going to the head. They're gonna tell a joke. Everyone, everyone, everyone takes some. And if the joke's take rubbish, tomato. then they need to just lob these. You need to just lob them at them. At them. Try right. and not get it on the telly because it'll blow up. Then we will not watch no more videos. There's some for you, Rodders. Yeah, Rodders. Hey, look, come on, Tom Dick and Harry, let's move the tea leaks. Yeah. Covered in muck muck already. I don't want to get it covered in tomatoes, that'd be awful. What about the electricity? Yeah. Right then, okay, everybody ready? Okay. All right, they're gonna. We're gonna oh, have, no, we got, have, they, have they got their script? Yes, of course. Right, can we have a drum roll, okay. please? Hey, wait, wait a minute, sir. More come the wise. Ladies and jelly spoons, boys and squirrels, please welcome to another bungalow theatrical production. <laughs> yes, it's the Little Clown! <laughs> to the West Indies. Jamaica? No. <laughs> no, she was quite happy to go. Ah! I say, I say, I say. My dog's got, got no nose. How do you smell? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> so in their faces, just their bodies, or their hair. <laughs> I say, I say, I say. I haven't slept for days. Oh, really? Why? Have you got insomnia? No. Well, what happened? It blew away. Ha! I say, I say, I say. I bought some <laughs> butchers the other day and I asked some of these pork chops. What did he say? Certainly, sir. Which way would you like them to leave? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see what I said. No! To the little clown, no one. Round of applause, give them a cheer. Let's check the curtains. It's the little clown. Quite enough of that. Right, should we watch a video, everyone? Was that entertainment enough? Do you want some more? Oh, dearie me. What are you doing? She's acting like a scarecrow. Go and do it again. Why are you doing that? Is it all going down your top? All right there, Ray J. Yes? <laughs> it's not, oh, oh. What, what are you laughing at, AJ? Yeah. What? <laughs> it's, I'm laughing at what? What are you laughing at? Anyway, anyway, it's dribbling. Look, me darlings, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nanny's panties. Always a winner. Chuck a chuck a vision. Only 35 minutes left. No. Until another bungalow weekend is over. Yeah. But it's probably a good job because we need to clean. Look at the state of the place. We need to clean it up. It is trashed. The carpets are covered in muck muck. There. It's all over the walls. It's my birthday today, and all my friends are here for a tea party. Yes, Diddy Damon and Little Jacobs. <laughs> Anyone for another cup of tea and a potted meat sandwich? <laughs> oh, Diddy Dick is having a birthday party. I didn't get an invitation. It doesn't matter. He can't have sent any out. Oh, I'm glad you got the invitations and that you both turned up. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm still his best friend. Oh, little Jacobs, I haven't told you recently, but you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, though, because he'll be my best friend when he finds out what I bought him for his birthday. I bought him a brand new corduroy suit. Oh, what's that, Diddy Damien? You've got me a brand new corduroy suit for my birthday. Yeah. Oh, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I know. Yeah. What are we going to do with the place? Clean it. Yeah, good idea. Uh, I got an email here from Angela Rabe, who says, this is my first email, so please read it out. OK. Hi, Dick and Dom. I love creamy muck muck. Well, you can come to the bungalow and lick some off the carpet, if you like. Um, I think it's the best game, because we play that on Saturday. Uh, can you stop picking on poor old Rodney? Because he looks nothing like him. <laughs> OK, we won't pickle him ever again, will we, Dom? No, we won't pick him like a Thank you, Sam from Cornwall. Sam from Cornwall.
Cornwall, you win the slime, but I don't know where it is. But you do win some slime anyway. And we'll give you some creamy muck muck since you like it. So watch this. Oh! It's the video phone. Not heard from that for a while. So I'm trying to get the Someone's try Some celebrity is trying to get into the bungalow. Mm. Do you want celebrities in it? Do you want celebrities in it, bungalow? Yeah. Yes! Shut up, no, no, no. Well, you don't. We're enough. We, we are celebrities. We are. All right! Hello. Hi, the Kingdom. It's the Cheeky Girls. Can we come in? No, you cannot. Go away. Please, no, I know, please. No, I said you no the first time. No. You will perform for you, then you stop. What? Oh, please. What? Are you going mad or something? Come on, Oops. please. No, no. You want to come in? No, please. You, no. Let us in. Let us in. No, no, no. no. go please. away. No, you're nuts. <laughs> no. Oops, oh, they're crying. <laughs> Sorry. Cheeky girls, that's what che they are. Cheek and then cheeky and slightly the nuts. Big people aren't allowed in the in the bungalow, apart from big people in the airing cupboard. Katie, okay, just go and have a look what she's up to in there. See if she's uh, all right. I'll put the cramp twins in while we're waiting. Why do you pick on wrinklies? Why do you push wrinklies? Tell me. Close Dude, the door. Please. What exactly is she airing her views on today? Picking wrinklies. What is she? Open it. Just open it again. Let's see. I, I can't work it out what she's trying to complain about. Okay. Well, a little bit. Of they keep pushing us off the bus or onto the bus and we fall over. They forget. No, no, leave that open. <laughs> leave that open for a bit Good longer. Good timing, Katie. A bit, Good a, bit timing. Longer, a bit longer. A bit longer. Oh, do, do listen to me, please. I, I do envy you. You've got lovely, strong legs. I wish right, I had legs. strong legs. Not. You've got lovely strong legs, Katie. Let's watch the Cramp Twins. Here they are. <coughs> yeah. You what? Could I have a word, please? You want a word? Yes, please. Oh. What? Can I give all my points away so I have two left? Yes, and please, can me and Harry go in the goodness together? What? Can, can, can I give all my points away? Yeah, can we give so all I have my points, two points left? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, so we can yeah. go together. What, you want to get gunned? Yeah! What? Instead of winning a karaoke machine? You know, yeah! I want to get gunged. Yeah, I want to get gunged. Yeah. Stop? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, mm. Well, I don't want anything to do with them. <laughs> I'm going to join a nice cup of coffee. He's going to scare him. Go back to him. Charlie. Go on. Go back to him. Go on. Um, so, Harry, you want to give all your points away to who? Um, Alicia. What for? Me. No. I'll give it to Harry. Do you fancy her? Harry, do you fancy her? No. It's because she's hardly got any points. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Rogers! That's yeah. nice! Yeah. Hey, by the way, very quickly, look at this T-shirt. It says Potter's Adventures. No, it doesn't. So why don't we change the P to a T? No. Oh, hey, Rogers! Can me and Harry go to one? Hold on. One at a time. Right, let me just ask you a quick question, right? Quick question for all of you. What are you all talking about? I want to give all my points away, so I have two points left, so then I can get guns. Right, give... let's give them away. Who are you giving them to? Alicia. Right, no. he's, giving, he's giving all his points, no. bar two, no. to Alicia. For some unknown reason, no. it's done. So, yeah, who's so giving them away? Together. Harry. Harry. The At the Harry, come here. You just gave them away. Yeah, Don needs a little word with you, brothers. See what I've done there? Right, <laughs> come here, mate. Are you sure come you're giving them all away to Alicia? Sit yourself down here. Yeah. He's already gave them away. So now what you've done is you've given away your points. So that you've now got how many points? Two. You've now got two points? Yes. So you don't really want any other points, do you? No. No. Well, Rodney. Well, <laughs> sorry, Harry. Well, no, don't get in a huff. Um, well, Rodders, if you don't want any points, then tough. Because what you've got to do now Dad? is you've got to, well, you'll find out. Bring on the tiger. Bring on the tiger! It is time to topple the tiger, Rodden. What you've got to do is you've got to wrestle the tiger to the ground. You've got 60 seconds in which to do it. And if you keep any of those seconds remaining on the clock, say 20 seconds left, you'll get them into bungalow points. You'll get 20 bungalow points. But you don't want any points. But you can give them away after if you like. So, so, if you don't want to do it, you've got to stand there and just look at it for a minute. Are you ready? Harry, topple the topple tiger! tiger! Come on, Rodders. Go on. Yeah! Oh, no. Ooh, hello. Rodders? Topple it. Take it frustrating. 
Oh. Take your frustration out on it. Grab it by the legs. Try and get we've, it out. We've been calling you Rodney Trotter. We've been calling you Rodney Trotter all weekend, so take your frustration out. Oh. He's the Rodney! He is a man! Go away, Tiger, you're Go ashamed. On. Go on. Rubbish. Go on, hang on a minute, wait. Rodders. Before you go away. There you go. All right, now go. Rodders. Go. How's this? How's this? Come here. Don't come back in the bungalow again. So, basically, your plan has been scuffered. So, what you did, we told you not to topple the tiger if you, want, if you didn't want any points. And you went and toppled it. So, we're going to give you, for being stupid, 400 bungalow points. <laughs> <laughs> so, now you've got... 402! <laughs> Which is a bit like 42, because that's how many seconds you had left on the game. How do you feel? Not very good. Not very good. The whole away. idea of the game Give is to try away. and win! You don't make a try and lose. Give him <laughs> away! Give who away? Give Rodney away. Yeah, yeah. Rodney, we're gonna give you away to the tiger. Come on, we're gonna send you away. <laughs> give your points away! Give your points away! Harry, give points away! Anyway, listen, enough of all your It's all got Enough of all your nonsense, bungalow heads. Let's have Let's let's have some more nonsense very quickly from the airing cupboard. She's been in there all morning and I don't know what she's been complaining about, but here we are. Oh, do please, when you see wrinklies next time, help them on the bus or help them down the bus, but don't push them down the bus. <laughs> what? What? I don't know what that was. Time for the battle bad review. Oh, and of course, when the battle bad review, when we say the words battle bad, the doorbell says battle bad. See? The doorbell rings. Because there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Who could it be? I don't know. Who Let's did you have get? A look. No! You'll never guess who it no. is. Let me, have a, let me have a look. No! It's Francis! Now you've caused a lot of stress you, this interview. You've caused a lot of stress in the bottom. A lot, a lot of stress. Now you, you've still got that stupid motor in the bottom. You're not even using it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could have had it taken out. <laughs> For a few months. We're going to make you redundant. Until they agree with it. Yeah. Come on, then, this way. Come on over, Francis. Don't push it, pull it. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is Francis' slot bucket. Say hello, Francis. Hello, hello Francis. Hello, Francis. Yeah. Fra Francis, Francis say, say hello to the bungalow heads. <laughs> Excuse me, please. I've told you time and time again. <laughs> Thank you. You. Basically, Hello. this is bad or bad. We have to decide whether something's bad or bad. And if it's bad, Francis yeah. Yeah. munches yeah. it up. Come on, Charlie. If it's bad, you could keep it. And remember, if it is bad and if Francis munches it up, you all have to do the Francis, which goes something like this. Well, do it. That's it, brilliant. Right, OK, then, let's have a look what's first. It's the cheeky girls. They're back with a vengeance. Here they are again. Yeah, back with something. Take your shoes off. What? Take your shoes off. Really? Not in here. Not with this carpet. <laughs> it's the second single from the Transylvanian duo. Transylvania. Transylvania. Is that where they actually come from? Transylvania. Are they werewolves? <laughs> Who fa Vampires. Sorry, fans, no, werewolves they come from the blood out of the music industry. Werewolves <laughs> come from London, don't they? Uh, what? what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's American ones. Let's have a look at the single. What? <laughs> It was stupid. Yeah. Horrible. So, OK, then, is the single from the Cheeky Girls their new single, Bad or Bad? Bad. Bad or Bad? 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 Don't do Don't that. Don't do that to yours. Do them to your brothers. Ah, it's they got cheeky girls. Ah, Don't do that to your seaters at home. They do get very sharp. Right then, Francis Slotbucket will now munch away at the cheeky girls. Are you ready, Francis? You've all got to do the Francis. One, two, three, go. Hey, hang on a minute. Here we are. Come and do this house. Come over here. Rod 
technique. Stand there and do the Francis. You did it brilliantly. Stand there. Come on, stand there and do the Francis. Rodney, on your own. Come on. Ten extra bungalow points. Ten extra. You can give it. We'll let. We'll give you. I'll let you give away hundred bungalow points if you do it. No. Two hundred bungalow points. No. We'll let you give away all your bungalow points. No. What? I thought you wanted to give it away. <laughs> what are you doing? No, that's a monkey. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> well, well done. What? Who do you want to give them to? Four hundred bungalow points. That's where you gain loads of new friends. Uh, Anna. Anna. Anna's got all the points, bar two. She always wants to keep two. 398. Right then, secondly on Battle Bad, it's a new video that's out, uh, well, on video and DVD, out next Monday, uh, starring... Uh, uh, and it's called Like Mike. There it is. Should we have a look at a bit of Like Mike? Mm, yes. Try it on. Do you know anything about these shoes right here? I'm not sure. Well, the guy who dropped them off said they used to belong to some famous basketball player when he was a kid. Murph, Rich. Come here, look. Look at the shoes. MJ. 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 It, it can't, can't be. be. Man, you like some weird basketball shoes. Well, there you are. That's uh, like Mike. Does anyone right? like? Uh, does anyone like Mike? Yeah. That's clever of me, wasn't it? What do you want? What was that? You like it? No. No. Just yeah, change your mind. Like anyone like it? Yeah. No. No. Or is it? Is this a peer pressure thing? You don't want to yeah. like it because your mates don't. No. So, is it bad or bad? No. Bad. 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 Right then. So is it bad or bad? Is it bad or bad? Is it bad or bad? Bad. Why is it going up there? One, two, three, like Mike's in the dustbin. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was very interesting to watch you all doing that. Thank you, Bungler Heads. Thank you, Dominic. That was Battle Battle. We'll be back next Sunday. Looney Tunes, please. Where is it? Here it is. Put it in there for me. No, you do it. I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted? You just want to go home now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to go home. No, they want to go home. Well, you never want to go home. Why not? Nearly all phone. Nearly all phone. Five minutes left till the end of Dick and Dom in the bungalow. And uh, by the way, next weekend, a classic bungalow for you. Some of the best bits. Where yes. are we going to be? I'll tell you, on holiday. Yeah, not about you. Laid on a beach. Yep. Sorry. Lovely. Sorry Lovely. about that. Right, move on. Right then, Mungalow Heads, before we leave, we've got one more game. It's called Do Not Laugh or You Will Lose. <laughs> yes, and to break this, Olivia and Katie, come and sit here. Right, the rules of the game are very simple. Oh, Richard McCall yeah. now explain the rules. Yes, basically, uh, Katie, at the moment, you are in third place. And Olivia, you are right at the top with 487 bungalow points. Olivia, if you win this, you'll stay at the top with 487 bungalow points. But Katie, if you win this, you'll take all Olivia's points and you'll go into first position and she'll go to third. OK, three rules, OK? Firstly, hands behind your back. Hands behind your backs at all times. You can't move them. Second rule, you must keep eye contact, although blinking is allowed. OK, and next, there's to be no smirking, laughing or smiling. OK? okay. Three, so, two, one. Do not laugh or you will lose. <laughs> Both got faces like slapped bodies. <laughs> it's all very tense now in the bungalow. This happens every Sunday. Oh, oops. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I think your message just popped out. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been the Ruby Murray ad last night. That's it. Keep looking at each other. Hey, don't smile, because if you smile, you could end up crying. Just think about Harry looking yeah, like look, Rodders. Look, look at the bottom lip just twitching away. It's, it's actually... Having a twitch. Oh, hey, Rodders, yeah, come here. <laughs> come here, Rods. Come here, Rodney. Rodders, come here. Here, look, this is Rodders. No contacts, no BAT. All right, Rodders. No. Do the Francis to them. No. Go, go on, make them laugh. Fight off. That wasn't very good. <laughs> right, now, what I'm going to do... <laughs> What about this funny noise? Listen to this one. Ready? Listen to this one. 
They're not going today, are they? They are stern. We're not going to give you much longer on this, because if we do, it could go on all day, you see. <laughs> Nobody's looking away, nobody's smirking, no one's giggling. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Out. Bring out the lights! Take off the uh, tense music! They are both wonderful. You can stop playing the game now. You can stop now. No, you can stop. We're not joking. You can stop. It's ended. <laughs> They're taking it far too seriously. It was a dead heat. That means Olivia, we know where she stays, and Katie stays in third place. Nobody won. It for, was a dead heat. But right now, I think it's going to be the... Yeah! It's the beginning of the end of the show! The beginning of the show, come on, the side of the losers. Is it going to be Olivia or Katie or AJ or Charlie or Harry or Alicia? Charlie, Harry, Alicia, AJ, Olivia or Katie. The losers, get, oh, get the losers are Charlie and Harry. Off you go. Off Both the of them. Both of them are going yeah, to the yeah. toilet. I think that's the first time that's Wait. ever happened. And let's have a look now at the scores to find out who's in third, second, and first place on the bungalow. 3, 2, 1, Dusty Bin. You can see oh, yes. that the winners are in third place with 399. Katie, take your place on the podium. Go. In second place with 420, Anna, take Santa. your place. And in first place with 487, Olivia. All right, Santa. Well done, look. It, thank you, then, Prince Here we go. It's Christmas. Uh, it's, it's a big creamy muck muck carpet. There you go. It's oh, look, thank you, Santa. Second prize is some stinky things. Stinky things. Oh, yeah, well done, yes. you as well. Yeah. But Olivia is the winner of the karaoke machine. Can you sing, Olivia? Get off. Well, well done. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. 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 She can stand there. Yeah. Stand there. But stand up, Charlie yeah. and yeah. Harry are both in the toilet for a double gunging. Let's give them a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Till four o'clock, you can watch this whole show again. Yes, and remember, next weekend it's a classic bungalow for you next Saturday and Sunday morning. So we'll see you properly the weekend after with a tan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. We'll be thinking about you while we're on holiday. Right, I'm going on holiday. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.